It has been a minute, but I'm back. Okay. How do I do this? What's up everyone? My name is Katie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. That was it. So this video, you can tell by the title, is my college dorm room tour. I'm moving out of my college dorm in four days. Junior year is officially over, and if you know me, if you've talked to me this year, you know that it has been rough. But I made it. I'm alive. I'm moving out. I get to live in an apartment next year, so this is it. This is the end of my college dorm life. What? I'm a senior. Are you kidding? But anyways, I was a little sentimental, and a lot of people usually comment on my, like, aesthetically pleasing, satisfying dorm room. You know, I do good. So I kind of just wanted to show it off a little bit before I move out. But I'm gonna do a little video of showing off my college dorm room and I hope you guys enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up if you wanna see an apartment tour video next year whenever I move into my apartment. Comment some video suggestions that you can leave me for this summer that I can roll with and, you know, make. And also subscribe to my channel because I just would appreciate that a lot. Here she comes, the wild Katie emerging straight out of the gym, ready to show off the first corner of the room featuring the futon that could fit one person, two people, maybe even more than that if she didn't have an excessive amount of pillows. Although it may feel like you're sleeping on a brick, this futon is also available for naps. Katie also takes pride in her pillow obsession and would like to show off her every day is a fresh start pillow, just to remind you all that every day is a fresh start. She apparently also wants to show off her Notre Dame pillow. Not sure why. Go Irish. As if she isn't basic enough, she would like to show off her white cart that everyone buys from Target for college. Oh, she likes to pull out the Eiffel Tower too, just to remind people that she went abroad. Yeah, abroad, like, changes you. Yeah. I'm just, like, more sophisticated now. Yeah, I'm gonna go back. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna live in Paris forever. Here she is again, showing off her wall space where she took what is supposed to be a vertically hanging mirror, hung it horizontally, slapped an arrow on top, and called it aesthetic. And if you didn't know already, Katie would just like to show you her abroad picture wall. <laughs> Did you not know that she went abroad? Well, now you know. Abroad. Abroad. <laughs> I just feel like I'm, like, supposed to be from abroad. Totally. Moving away from the abroad corner, she would like to show off her TJ Maxx rug, her two gray bins from Target, and to tie it all together, an inspire plaque, just to let people know that she is inspiring. <gasps> and what do we have here? The most basic books that any girl could ever own. All she knows is that this rupee girl writes some sad stuff, and every girl needs a sad cry here and there, you know? Oh, what is she pulling out next? The Holy Bible. How surprising. Moving to the center of her room, she shows off her unique cabinet and drawer space that her school so graciously provided for her. Here she is showing off a Keurig as if no one has ever seen one of those before. And here she is struggling to put it back together because, well, she's probably only ever used her Keurig once. She also takes a lot of pride in her canvas painting. Hit her up if you want any. What's in her drawers, you ask? Just an unnecessary amount of clothing that looks as messy as her life. Ah, uh, here we have it, the corner where she spends the majority of her time because she sleeps more than she studies or socializes. Sorry, mom and dad. Here she is trying to show that she is a cute sleeper when actually she really looks like this. Katie refuses to believe that adulthood is rapidly approaching, so she pulls out her stuffed animal. Oh, and you can't forget about her blankie that she's had since the day she was born. Someone please help her. Katie takes the most pride in her aesthetically pleasing curtains behind her bed. Gotta love it. Katie would also just like to take a moment to recognize her favorite picture in her room that was made by her younger cousin, Megan. Go check out her work, people. She is amazing. Here we have the corner of the room where the desk lies. It's covered in tears and dust and sadness because, you know, well, <laughs> school. Here we have Katie showcasing the final corner of her room where she has not one, but two doors. What could be behind them? Surprise, surprise, the first door is not a closet. If it's also not a bathroom, it's just a sink. Here we have the second door where, surprise, surprise, it is a closet that is as messy as her life and as her junior year. Not entirely sure why she's getting in the closet right now, but I mean, just enjoy, I guess. 
Here we have the final door that is actually the exit out of her room, but she would like to showcase her assignment board where she writes every single one of her assignments down for the whole entire semester. This may give some people anxiety, but every time she completes an assignment, she erases it. <laughs> exactly like that, yep, exactly like that. Oh, look, there's one assignment that she didn't complete and instead she's making this YouTube video, so go Katie! Well, thanks for tuning in, folks. This has been my tiny dorm room tour. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, well, that's all. <laughs>